Good morrow, ladles and jelly spoons. It is I, Onyx, your fellow storyteller of doom. I'm in a much better mood today. Um, I've had coffee and adequate sleep for me. And yes, I am wearing my pirate hat. Not really piratey. I make it piratey. I don't mean to. Yes, if you've ever been to the Southern California Renaissance Pleasure Fair and you've seen the joust and you've seen their medieval cheerleaders, their rabble-rousers, look familiar? Imagine my hair much redder. Really red. Fire engine red. I have a button. I have buttons. No copyright intent. Infringement. Whatever. Anywho. So. I have a lovely micropasta for you called The Angel. I've looked for the author's name. I cannot find it. So credit to this story goes to the person who wrote The Angel on April 8th. It's 53 seconds. Let's see how long I can make this. Don't judge me. A few years ago, a mother and father decided they needed a break. So, they wanted to head out for a night on the town. They called their most trusted babysitter. When the babysitter arrived, the two children were already fast asleep in bed. So the babysitter just got to sit around and make sure everything was okay with the children. Later that night, the babysitter got bored and went to watch TV, but she couldn't watch it downstairs because they did not have cable downstairs. The parents didn't want their children watching too much garbage. So she called them and asked if she could watch cable in the parents' room. Of course, the parents said it was okay, but the babysitter had one final request. She asked if she could cover up the angel statue outside of the bedroom window with a blanket or cloth. At the very least, close the blinds because it made her nervous. The phone line was silent for a moment. And the father who was talking to the babysitter at the time said, take the children and get out of the house. We will call the police. We do not have an angel statue. The police found all three of the house occupants dead within three minutes of the call. No angel statue was ever found. The end. So that's the quick one, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And also, I have now the link of doom to this specific micropasta in the description box. You can find it, click it. They have, I personally like it. I think it needs a higher rating. A lot of these need higher ratings because this one's not too bad. It's 8.5 out of 10. I give it a nine. I like stuff like this. So on that note, my lovelies, I will find more creepy goodness for you. And not just creepy pastas, but also scary stories in the dark same ones we all grew up with, at least I grew up with. Um, I wanted to say thank you to all the authors at Creepypasta for writing what they write, doing what they do. It is greatly appreciated. I'm only on here to share it with you guys. I've made sure in the video editing and all that good stuff, this is just for entertainment purposes only. This is for you guys to listen to because I think that their stories are amazing. I want people to know about them, and maybe, I'll, you know what, I'm probably going to go and look through the ones that aren't very highly rated, and there's a couple of gems in there. It's like watching Netflix, you know? I'm one of those people that finds, you know, a little diamond in a bag of coal, so. On that lovely note of doom, I shall bid thee anon until next time, and if you liked it, hit that like button. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. Hopefully I shall see you soon with more plushy goodness. Perhaps we will do Jack Sparrow impressions. For I am not Jack Sparrow. I am a tiger. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Anon.